Daily Words of God If people fall under the influence of Satan, then they have no love for God within them, and their previous visions, love, and resolution have disappeared. People used to feel that they were supposed to suffer for God, but today they think it is shameful and have no shortage of complaints. This is the work of Satan. It shows that man has fallen under the domain of Satan. If you encounter this state, you must pray and turn the other way as soon as you can. This will protect you against Satan's attacks. It is during bitter refinement that man can most easily fall under the influence of Satan. So how should you love God during such refinement? You should summon your will, laying your heart before God and devoting the last of your time to Him. No matter how God refines you, you should be able to put the truth into practice to fulfill God's will, and you should take it upon yourself to seek God and seek communion with God. At times like these, the more passive you are, the more negative you will become, and the easier it will be for you to regress. When it is necessary for you to serve your function, although you don't serve it well, you do all you can and do it using nothing more than your love of God. Regardless of what others say, whether they say you have done well or that you have done badly, your motivations are correct and you are not self-righteous for you are acting in behalf of God. When others misinterpret you, you are able to pray to God and say, O oh God, I do not ask that others tolerate me, nor that they forgive me. I only ask that I am able to love you in my heart, that I am certain in my heart, and that my conscience is clear. I do not ask that others commend me or hold me in high regard. I only pursue to satisfy you from my heart. I serve my role by doing all that I can, and although I am foolish and stupid and of poor caliber and blind, I know that you are lovely, and I am willing to devote all I have to you. As soon as you pray in this way, your love for God emerges and you feel much more certainty in your heart. This is what is meant by practicing the love of God. As you experience, you will fail twice and succeed once, or else fail five times and succeed twice. And as you experience in this way, only amid failure Will you be able to see the loveliness of God and discover what is lacking within you? When you next encounter such situations, you should caution yourself, temper your steps, and pray more often. You will gradually develop the ability to triumph in such situations. When that happens, your prayers have been effective. When you see you have been successful this time, you will be gratified inside. And when you pray, you will be able to feel God and that the presence of the Holy Spirit has not left you. And only then will you know how God works within you. Practicing in this way will give you a path to experiencing. If you do not put the truth into practice, then you will be without the presence of the Holy Spirit within you. But if you put it into practice, then although you hurt inside, afterward the Holy Spirit will be with you. You will be able to feel the presence of God when you pray. You will have the strength to practice the words of God. And during communion with your brothers and sisters, there will be nothing weighing on your conscience, and you will feel at peace, 
and in this way, you will be able to bring to light what you have done. Regardless of what others say, you will be able to have a normal relationship with God. You will not be constrained by others. You will rise above everything. And in this, you will demonstrate that your practice of God's words has been effective.